previously on AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Wait, wait. Tama, do it. Do the cat thing. <coughs> yeah! Ah! Mizuki did it. This is why she's best girl. I love you so much. You're so funny. And now back to... Who's that girl? What's her name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Mizuki. Is she lame? Is she cool? Is she breaking every rule? Is she anybody's fool? Mizuki. 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 Macho in her own parade. Mizuki. She's like one in a million. Mizuki. Mizuki. Macho cool for dumb that day. Catch her if you can, Mizuki. Who? Is that a really horny character? No, that's me. Ew. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Tegli, I had a song too. Mizuki, Mizuki, Macho in her own beret. Mizuki, she's like one in a million. Mizuki, Mizuki, Macho go for Dom Date. No one's cooler than Mizuki. She's her own biggest fan, Mizuki. Catch her if you can, Mizuki. Snigopi! Back with some more AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We last left off, we pretty much just kind of putz around town, you know, from six years ago and ran into everybody. We ran into Oda, who turns out he actually did learn a little bit of something from the last game and is less of a piece of shit and is helping his sick mom at the store, which is nice. And we also got introduced to a brand new character, Kizuna, and some other dude, I, I don't even remember his name off the top of my head, who just randomly falls in love with her when she sings a song. All right, good on you, man, I, I, I guess. Which, by the way, you guys did actually mention, no, that, that the person singing that song was actually not Iris' VA. It, it was actually uh, Kizuna's VA. And Kizuna's VA is actually a YouTuber by the name of Amelie. And I remember her. I actually know her. She's a, She actually is a professional singer. I remember she did a version of Life Will Change from uh, Persona 5 that I really liked. But yeah, she's, she's an actual singer, right? I thought it sounded better. I did. I didn't think the chorus was necessarily amazing, but it was definitely sung much better than Iris's one. At least in my opinion. So that's cool. I didn't realize she was also a voice actress. Though it's also not uncommon for singing and voice acting to go kind of hand in hand because they kind of both draw on uh, lots of motions. We also cut up with Iris, who uh, has proved to still be a little weirdo. And her friend, whose name I've already forgotten again, who was literally just the mermaid girl from the last game and really had not much of a role in the story, though for some some reason she actually, believe it or not, got like second place in the, the popularity contest or something like just under Mizuki as one of the top favorite characters. So that's kind of funny. I wouldn't be surprised she has a bigger role in this game than for that reason. And we caught up with the uh, mafia dudes here who are just as unprofessional as they were in the last game. <laughs> Seriously, how the hell did this dude get the head of his own organization, right? Actually, technically... We actually, we know that. They explained the last game. His brother, his older brother, who was a complete psycho, was originally the head of the organization until he died or went into a coma, and he took up the position. But let's be honest, he, honestly, he's a lot nicer <laughs> than his crazy psychotic brother. Anyway, it's good so far. I, last episode was definitely mostly just kind of establishing characters and stuff of, like, where are they at this moment, right? Technically, at this point, it's actually only been a few months since the end of the last game. And oh yeah, I, I, I forgot, technically at the start of the episode, we actually did meet up with Boss and Dante in, uh, in her office. And we got the explanation that in fact, Dante looks like Saito because he's just wearing a silicon mask. Which then kind of le led me to the question, wait, why does he sound like Greg Chun then? Shouldn't he sound like DC Douglas? Well, someone actually had a, a really good point about this, and uh, that was CL Ty Nave, who last episode said, the issue of the different voice is something that isn't actually an issue with the Japanese version of the game, since both bodies for Dante, Saito, and Falco were both voiced by Tarusuke Shingaki. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely the reason <laughs> that is 100 percent the reasoning here it's not some deep dank crazy theory of oh man there's a, there's something even deeper than that i don't know man like i'm not convinced yet no it, it is that is very much then a carryover from the japanese version of the game and i feel like it's something that's not super uncommon for like kind of things like that that can change between localization but they don't adjust things in the story to like kind of back it up i do kind of wish they did i kind of wish they just even just added an extra little bit of dialogue or changed another bit to just have him say i'm wearing a silicon mask and also a voice modulator you know like that's all i need to say because it is kind of jarring but okay so in the original his he was voiced by 
all those characters were voiced by the same guy, which is which is kind of interesting just because like in that perspective, why did they all have the same voice? I guess it was assuming then that if you switch bodies, your voice stayed the same, I guess. Like as long as he was in that body, his voice sounded like that. I, I assume that maybe that's what, what the original was or did all of them actually sound like the same dude? Was there scenes then where the, the guy's talking and he just sounds like himself talking to himself? <laughs> I have many questions. Maybe it's putting on a different voice. But either way, the point is, it really doesn't matter. Don't think about it too much. I will honestly say that I, I think Greg Chun does work better as a kind of main character voice, honestly. No no offense, of course, to DC Douglas, who's a fucking, like, beast of a voice actor. And his vocals sound like sweet cocoa butter all over my naked body. But, like, Greg Chun, I think, kind of comes across as more personable with a lot of his characters. And even if it was, like, the silicon mask and his voice sounded like like DC Douglas, it'd probably be a little weird. So, I like, I see why. I do. But, yeah, that sort of does actually kind of cement that in, in reality, there is no crazy shenanigans going on here yet, right? This is actually just a sequel following the true ending from the original game no mind fuckery to be seen anywhere unless you count maybe that uh the spoiler thing at the start which i can't i still can't tell if that was a uh, just supposed to be a hilariously meta commentary or if that's really like actually got some deep dank lore and ryuki's tied to it i don't know i guess i'll have to wait and see on that one but cl thank you so much for your uh enlightening comment there it really did help to cement what was really the reasoning behind some of these things and it is that reason you are comments of the day but yeah it's funny I, I was seeing some of you guys say yeah like i wasn't the only one who was sort of confused and baffled by that and coming up with crazy theories about you know what was happening in the story i imagine that really was intentional you know because i remember seeing some of shots of date with the eye patch and the promotional material and i honestly was thinking that was saito and not Dante, like back in some way, like Dante was dead. Cause I don't think we even got a clarification, at least not in the trailers that I saw that Dante was still alive. I guess actually technically in the future, he is missing though. I'm sure he's around somewhere. It does make me wonder if at any point, assuming Dante isn't dead, will we actually see him wearing his normal like face and will DC Douglas actually come back? I'm kind of thinking probably not. Because in this way, it's also, you know, if you go in the no spoiler route for this game, you'll have no idea that anything is wrong, right? Because you look at the cover of the box, you see Dante on the cover and he looks like that. So you, if he did, you'd, you'd be asking a lot of questions. And putting him back in his original body at any point during the story would be a pretty significant deviation from the, a potential no spoiler root version of the game, right? It's a lot more than simply like just throwing in some fluff dialogue of, oh, Dante, aren't you supposed to have your body back? And then simply like, yes, your entire character model looks different than it does in another route. And I kind of doubt that they went that extreme, right? But anyway, you guys had also mentioned something else. So apparently, yeah. So there are there is an, a nice thing that they did change a little bit in this game in that as long as you don't like change the scene significantly, you're actually still able to go and ask the other options that you didn't pick before. So if like accidentally progress the story, you can still talk to them. That said, some things won't be that way. Like for example, when Kizuna got up and the scene kind of changed after she did her dance, right? So any options I missed there, I, I wouldn't have been able to ask her again afterwards. But if it's just something like, oh yeah, you can leave the area now and you know, go on the map, then you can go back and ask him about it. So cool, that's, that's great. So I, uh, I can ask him about the things I missed. So why were you on the show last night? Didn't he just say so earlier? It is what it is. Thanks. Great, great response. Does Shinpei's resignation go smoothly? Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. <laughs> Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. What about you? No. All right, I guess we're good. Moba, have you ever stopped to ask yourself, why does Shinpei sound so much like your dead psychotic brother? You ever thought about that? I bet there's a deep dang theory behind that too. You ever thought about that, Moba? You ever gone on a fucking Reddit page and read some shit about that? Someone's 300 page thesis of how fucking Shinpei is in reality. Your dead psycho brother back from the dead who DH'd himself somehow or put his brain in there. It all makes sense. Moba, stop looking at me like that. Are you paying any attention? All right, anyway, let's go someplace else. Oh, wait, before we do that, though, we got to go to Tama's room and get our uh, helpful advice of the day. Or is it just going to be more about... so much. I can see it in your face. Yeah. Tama, what do you think I should eat for dinner? Tama, what do you think I should eat for dinner? Oh, I actually voiced that. Let's see. Was that voiced before? It's been a while, so I'd like to see you eat and compare monkfish liver and foie gras again. I wonder how many different things there are for her to say. 
and for me to say is the life advice thing just gonna be the same the money thing worried about money yeah it's always it's the same that's right mm -hmm. talking about how to use assets how about stocks yes i recommend crypto over stocks lend me your money and i'll give it back tenfold no 100 fold jesus christ fucking no, please don't. Don't actually do that. Anyone watching this, don't actually do that. Please, God, please. If you're interested, this is my bank information. Fuck you, Tom. I get your sort crypto horse shit out of here. All right, anyway, I went to the bonus thing and I bought some additional stuff. I got, oh my God. You, wait, check this out, guys. Wait, wait for it. Wait, watch your get up. Ready? And... Whoop! <laughs> I mean, what? No, I didn't, I didn't notice anything. Hands aren't bad either. <laughs> oh, that's cute. A Ryuki cosplay. I see. And there was actually, there was a Mizuki one too. And I guess only, mm, only Iba can wear Mizuki's either. cosplay. Early hot dog. Still my favorite one though. Still love hot dog. All right. Good talking to you, Tama. You horn dog, you. That's also something you say. Could you imagine if Tama and Dante were together? They wouldn't be able to get fucking anything done. They'd just be so lewd and rude at all times the dirtiest dankest conversations fucking titties everywhere i'm actually i'm like i'm trying to even think about like dotty would absolutely be hitting on tama i i feel like right would she like that i don't know maybe i don't really know tama well enough yet or tama i, I think it, i keep saying tama it's tama tama's the uh american way of saying shit like that i got on my brain so this is basically like an achievement list I, i'm sort of getting this this thing and it actually levels up your your stuff and by doing that you get more costumes kind of a neat little bonus like it's just a fun like completely pointless kind of thing but i appreciate it i guess we can go ahead and check any updated stuff i got iba here which i think is probably the yeah it's the fucking same right and the so the 80 f5 is translated literally to date right so wait does that mean tama's is ryuki r y u k that's not that doesn't fit up to ryuki though oh wait what's Tariki's last name Karudo. K U R U T. That didn't fit either. It doesn't. It's one letter too big. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm not under, understanding this correctly. Maybe that still translates to Ryuki or Karudo or, or whatever. In like, I, I'm not exactly sure. Is it base 16? How, what is, how is this, uh, like, what actually is this? It's basically a programming language, I believe. So, Jen, oh my God. I didn't actually see anyone clarify. This is pro ZD, right? I didn't see anyone like tell me like, no, this is not. This is somebody totally different. So I, I'm assuming I'm right. Oh wait, no, I I, I looked it up. I'm looking at looking at a comment here. There is someone that clarified. Yes, good. Yeah, pro ZD has just got a very kind of recognizable voice, kind of like Yuri Lowenthal. Like something about the tone. You, once you just hear it, you just can't unhear it. <laughs> and it's very interesting how that is for some voice actors, where like some. I feel like they can't escape the tone that, that they will always have, you know, for any character. And maybe it's just a recognition thing. But then there are other characters like, I still can't fucking believe like Allegra Clark voices Iori and Boss in this game. That shit's fucking nuts to me because they sound nothing alike. Similarly, Chris Hackney voicing Juro and Dimitri sounds so different. It's like, what the fuck? Not to say that Pro ZD or like Yuri Lothal couldn't voice a character that I wouldn't recognize. It's possible they just haven't really gotten a chance to. But we've also seen a lot of goofy videos and skits with Pro ZD, you know? Like Sandoroth! King Dragon sends his regards. Bam! <laughs> anyway, uh, Jen here. His age is unknown. Owner of Brahmin World Cuisine. Likes Harbor Warehouse District. People who are unafraid of him. Aw. <laughs> oh, I like this guy already. Dislikes Oda Masashita. My man! <laughs> Hobbies, reading, meditating. Skills, cooking, crushing rocks. He runs a restaurant called Brahmin and Golden Yoko Gocho. Since his face scares people, he usually wears a cute mask. So, so strong he could destroy a tank with his bare hands. Mizuki's like, join the club. So Amame, that's right, that's what her name is. She likes quizzes, the occult, dance, music, vo voices, right side? What? Oh, I guess the right side of her body, like where her pink hair is or something? Actually, kind of that'd be your left side, but whatever. Dislikes customers who sit there for three hours with just a coffee. I feel you, girl. Silence. Left side. Hobbies. Raising triple worth sea devils. Neat. Skills. Exploiting vanity. 
Receiving lavish gifts. That's, yes, that's an amazing skill. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. Wanting to work the late shift. She lied and said that she was 20 years old. She's in the school dance club with Iris and Kizuna. A regular at Brahman and close with Jen. You know, the interesting thing is we still have yet to actually see what some of these characters look like in the future. Which is going to be interesting to see what they, like, how they've changed. If they've changed, you know? Because, you know, Iris won't be in fucking high school anymore. Or at least I would hope she isn't. I mean, she's actually supposed to be a senior right now anyway. Uh, yeah, so Lion or Leon, profession unemployed, likes Alfrey, whatever the fuck that is. Yagi Park Kizzy. K oh, K K Kizuna, okay. Dislikes the past. Anything Kizzy dislikes. Wow, what a simp. Hobbies building model planes and spaceships and jerking off to Kizzy. I mean, what? Skills, extraordinary lockpicking ability. A former thief. Until recently, he was working as a janitor, but was fired due to his past. He fell in love with Kizuna Chida after seeing her dance at Masashita Diner. He gets rejected after confessing his love to her. Well, as he should, because you're some fucking rando, dude. God, I, I do kind of, I kind of hope this doesn't end with him, like, fucking hooking up with her. Because I'm getting a little, I'm a little tired of the fucking, like, I get it. It's the, it's definitely a Japan thing. But I'm going to get a little tired of the kind of creepy nature sometimes that comes from, like, idols and their fans. And then just being like, I love you and, like, marry me, you know? Like, I remember that happened a few times in Lost Judgment. And also, actually, I think the ju judgment that came before that. Where, like, people just, like, do this, like, really, like, terrible law-breaking kind of shit with the idols. And the idols just, like, forgive them. And that's, like, what, what, like, what's the lesson here? Just, like, yeah, it's fine. You can get away with it. I, I don't know. It's, like, it's okay to be creepy to the idols. They're used to it. This is their job. I don't know. I feel like it's, like, the kind of behavior that we really shouldn't be, like, like, yeah, go for it, bro. But, again, different cultures. Gazing up. So she likes dancing, shoes, Cinderella, children, b big si Oh, me yeah, Miski. Dislikes the- Dislikes the unemployed! F to get fucked, Leon. Hobbies, dancing, reading fairy tales. Skills, dancing, all reading fairy <laughs> Reading fairy tales also. Overview, the daughter of the uber-rich Chieda family. She's in the dance club at school with Iris and Amame. She's the most gifted singer and dancer in the club. She even won a contest before. She's calls Mizuki Big Sis. All right, there's Dante, and there's him without his eye patch. So it's funny how the eye patch really did give him a different vibe, didn't it? It really made him look like an evil villain. Uh, best special agent, likes classic cars, Curry, Benito, pelvises, that's still there, and family. Yeah, so the, the, the extra thing before with Ryuki was just a reference, really, to, to Dante's, like, checking out their bone structure or whatever. That's, like, his kink. Dislike soft-boiled eggs, punk kids, ghosts. Hobbies, collecting vintage magazines, skills. Reaction time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. Oh, man, I wonder what that could possibly be. In a business special agent on a long break, he takes good, good care of Ryuki, both at and outside work. He's Mizuki's adoptive father and gets along with Iris and Oda. Oh, that last was a lie. Fuck you. Currently feuding with Aiba. Oh, my God, look at Oda's douchey-ass fucking profile picture down there. Cooks in the Mashita Diner, light no novel author, likes Aset chocolate, dislikes enemies of Aset, people who lecture hobbies internet idols mid cafes up until recently he was unemployed but he now runs mashita diner after finding out tessa likes the occult he brushed up his knowledge on the subject oh really close with mizuki kizuna and amame oh good i can learn what a vegan is how oh, interesting it actually updated the, the finger cutting thing yeah most of the again the penix is just like who it's just so like in my opinion just whatever like the German suplex, a pro wrestling movement, which you grab someone around their waist and throw them backwards, which can turn to a, into a bridge and then can lead to a three count. The name is derived from a certain pro wrestler, supposedly from Germany, who used this throw. Like, who the fuck doesn't know what, like, even if you don't have any idea of the specifics of a German suplex, I think you get the idea of what what was being said here. Oh, my Tamagotchi's asking me shit. What ability might be useful against old men? Finger, finger jab, straight lead, summer, somersault kick? Schmidt style backbreaker. Yeah, that sounds like the shit right there. Boom. It's a Jeet Kune Do thing, maybe. Backbreaking movie. -y. Okay. Wait, can I not leave here? Is there something else I need to do? Uh oh. I, uh. I think I might be stuck. I'm actually not joking. I think I might be stuck. The map icon, I checked the previous episode to see. I'm like, I thought I remember the map icon popping up. That's why I ended the episode there. It did. And now it's not there anymore, and I can't open the map. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a problem. If I like save and load it or load from an autosave. No, didn't come back. That's a big glitch. <laughs> That's a big boo-boo. Huh. 
All right, well, I, I went ahead and progressed and, and got back to this point again. I wonder if that was a, a loading glitch or something. I wish uh, I could test it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't because I have only one save file, so I'd have to do it literally all over again, and I'd prefer not to, but I'm almost wondering if that's something I have to worry about if I, like, save it a moment like this. We're ahead of the map. I'm going to have to do everything all over again. At the very least, I'm glad there's at least a, a manual save and an auto save, but I can't save more than one manual save, which is kind of sucked. All right, last place, Mistan Department Store. All right. This strange man. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. I think you've got a dot in your forehead right now, actually. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death Tub. Oh, butthead backwards. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized, when you see Death Tub in the mirror, God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Damn, that is a face down there. That is a face. There's nobody in the audience but me. <laughs> well, fuck you, Tama. <laughs> fuck, she's laughing at him and not with him. Another story about Shoma. One day, I got a call from school, and a rather heavy-set vice principal told me, Your Shoma called me a pig of all things! I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore, but... It's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! What is, what? What is this line? Is that like the buzzinga or something? Like, I've hit the punchline, but uh, psh, I guess. <laughs> the fucking sign. <laughs> Tom, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking, I am going to throw you on the ground. I'm going to rip you out of my eye and throw you on the fucking ground. <laughs> Ryuki says nothing. Um, are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened. I thought your your day job was being a game show host. Was that just like a one-time gig thing? I, th I think we sort of mentioned it before. Maybe it was. This isn't actually it, though, is it? This wasn't what the set was. There was someplace totally different. I guess this is what he does on the side. Hey, there's some people over there. Some stand-up comedy. Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quieter, right? I mean... It's Pretty quiet here already, dude, but sure. Oh god. Oh god! I'm so close to this weird square Wait, face! The Ferris wheel? Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. Oh, look at us go! I see people! It's the door to the gondola. Also people! Apparently I can't really remark on it. <laughs> Look, the ants are like people. It's the other way around. Wait, the other way around doesn't sound right either. Those people look like ants. What is this? A fierce wheel for ants? How can you expect kids to learn to ride if they can't even fit inside of the... Ride. I can see the seascape out the window. Apparently I can't actually look at any of the, the sights here. Just this man's strange face. Okay, look. Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komiji, is sitting in front of me. I say nothing about his square face. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm. I'm apparently the only one who notices. Why a Ferris wheel? I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around. Actually, plane propellers, washing machines, 
the beds at love hotels? Okay. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. Again and again and again and again and again! All the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> Fucking Ricky's like, why Why do they give me her? Why did I have to be stuck with Tama? Why well, couldn't have been Iba? Why? A boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. Is his head also a box? With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside too. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. Okay, let's not talk about Shoma since that we, we got a progression thing, right? So now, why do you have to quit? You show? know, I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early twenties, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. I say. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Quiz god. Thinking yeah. back, that may have been the peak of my life. Yeah. Adored wherever I went. Everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. Your hair became a box? I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Why did you have this question? Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. It's fine. I mean, it's sort of accurate. By the way, Iris and Mizzy were called Team Lemniscape, and Moma and Shinpei were called Team Yakuza. Makes sense. You're close. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Okay, that explains that. But that still doesn't explain the hat. I'm, I'm sorry, I know I'm asking that a lot, but seriously, I need an explanation for this, all right? Fuck Dante and his fucking silicon face horse shit, all right? I don't give a crap about that anymore. I want to know the reasoning behind your head, sir, and your face. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh. Uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. It kind of reminds me of Pee Wee Herman. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. About last night's incident. I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. It smells like alcohol. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%. The early stages of inebriation. Did you need some confidence juice for you up on stage? I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? I hope that whoever that woman was, I hope her head was a perfect circle. <laughs> the yin to his yang, truly. <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary comedian. Don't you fucking lie to me. I talked to the Yakuza. Well, even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. 
Again, I like that the order depends on, like, if influences what you say to each other. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Why don't you suddenly feel so much smaller than me? Are you actually this small? You seem more normal size. Suddenly, I feel like a giant. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mary's always kind of a tiny dude. All right, so look at all the stuff here. We got a Ferris wheel. We got a ticket booth that I can't look at. There's trash can. There's a bear I also can't look at. No Monokuma reference this time around, apparently. Oh, I mix Monokuma sound. Oh, but wait, I love despair. That's actually my favorite thing. Yay! I'm happy again. Oh, I'm sad because I'm happy. Oh, I'm bad side again. Arcade, there are all sorts of games, like arcade games and games of chance. All right, there is no fluff dialogue out here. Let's mosey then. Back to HQ. Hopping in my limo. You're going back to Abyss? Damn. She's fancy as fuck. Give me some booze, baby. Yeah, I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Hey, baby. Oh, God. Wait, I gotta look at all the shit in here. Can I look at all the shit in here? I can't. Get out of my eye. <laughs> Lady! Uh, scream like a little gore girl, roar like a vicious beast, recite the sutras. Who are you? Recite the sutras. The essence of the sutra of great wisdom, which permits us to go further. The bodhisattva of the true freedom through the deep practice of the great wisdom. This sounds like something Ry Ryuki would say anyway. Oh, Sariputra. Phenomena are no different to emptiness. Yes. Emptiness is no different to phenomena. Yes. Phenomena return to emptiness. Emptiness becomes phenomena. This incomparable mantra tells <laughs> us on, on, together, further than beyond. To Shut up! Stop shouting! But you surprised me. <laughs> Slightly delayed response, but you know. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. Also, your tits are huge, and you're fucking got legs! So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. She's fucking switching her legs around like she's trying to show him her underpants or lack thereof. Organized information about the Jin's right half suddenly appearing. What do you think of this car? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Oh, shit. Right now, I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I, of course, control the gas and brakes. I send signals electronically. It's certainly a self-driving car. Ah. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah. In an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. Oh. Six years ago, he also. Interesting. Okay. About the reason Jin's right half suddenly appeared. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but... Remember what Mr. Date and Iris said? For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. Man, they were really setting us up for some shit, aren't they? They're really, they're right, right on the get-go, they're like, you know what could, it could be? It could be some crazy banana shit. It's probably gonna be something totally normal, right? Don't tell me you believe that. No, just for some reason, it's stuck in my head. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. Oh no, what's wrong with your right eye? A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? 
There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. Woo! Oh shit, check this out. Woo! Dude, this is so adult swim, it fucking hurts. Uh, oh god, it's gonna hurt. Oh, right in my butt. Oh god, oh fuck. Rip me, burr me, 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 me. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, fucking what the hell? Ah! Fuck it, ah! Da, 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 uh. My brain, my brain, 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 Bats. That was a good video. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. Cocaine, Ryuki, cocaine. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Let's see where we need to look. We gotta look at my fucking Tamagotchi. Shit, that's not the right thing. Oh, it's the same thing from before. I switched all back right here. Do it again, because I had to reload my game. All right. Where did Bass 490 come from? Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube. Then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Who the fuck? Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Get out of my brain, Mizuki! Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. He's fucking dead now. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Really? The, uh, nephew of, uh, other dude? He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya. You coinky dinkly? Shoma. Isn't that? Andy's Komeji's. Wait, is his nephew or son? Or grandson? I think it was his nephew. February 11th, 1730 hours. Shoma. You know what happened last night, right? Damn it, your head is not fucking square. I'm disappointed. Just like a normal kid. Damn. The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. Also, you didn't disappear. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Look at that robot. What the hell is this? Is this a pub for the quiz? It's an old-fashioned chest of drawers. It's old. Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. Trophy? A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. And Persona. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. Lucky laugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tama, your laugh is so, like... Intense. You laugh more often than you breathe. It's a lucky laugh game. The face parts are all out of order. Poem. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this was supposed to be touching? <laughs> this poem that was probably written by Kameji. Kameji sounds pretty depressed, I gotta say. It's a family altar. What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? It's a CRT TV. But do you think you can pick up digital broadcasts? It could, with a dedicated tuner. CRT, there's a strange protrusion on top. It's got a little hairdo. It's the answer button qu for the quiz! Uh. Katatsu, it's very warm. 
Drink would be seen out the window. <gasps> Bulk hammer. It's a squeaky toy hammer. Folding fan. A lot of goof shit, goofy shit in here. It's a picture that I can't look at. <gasps> oh, shit, look at this weird bird. It's out of rooster. Oh, God. Are you t there's an adder rabbit and adder rooster? Adder rooster? It's a character. It's an adder rooster doll. Got a machine parts in his hand. Okay, I think that's everything. It's Shoma. He's working on something in silence. No, it's his, it's his dad. Just to confirm, your father is Andes Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? Sorry, I couldn't remember if he said his son or his nephew. What do you make it? What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. Ellipses. About the video. You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. They're gonna have to somnium dive into this kid's brain. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. The chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. What kind of metaphor is that? Ah! You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Oh, for God's sakes, Tama. Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. I need a, a fucking Magatama, right? Break his psycho locks. Uh. It's no use talking to him, I think. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. Really need a different metaphor for that. This picture? Can I look at it? The toy hammer? Why don't you hit your own head with the hammer toy? Wow, what a jolly guy he is. I'm gonna tell him everything I know now. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. The way he said that. Folding fan. Why don't you smack Shoma on the head with the folding fan? Yeah. Beat the shit up. I don't think he'd ever speak to me. Do you want to watch TV together? Damn it. <gasps> Buzzer. Ding. Yes, Shoma. What is your answer? Damn, it's just so awkward. Look at this fucking toy robot. That robot is so cool. Trophy. Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. But he still is, of course. Oh my god. What about this thing? Uh, what about the picture? Forget Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? Damn, this is going very badly. What about this family altar? God, please help. You can help yourself. <laughs> god, please! Uh, toll box. Oh wait, no, the thing in his hand. It's machine part. Really? Why don't you try going under the Kotatsu? He'd probably run away. I'm gonna freak him out. Tama, you fucking weird out. Ah. <gasps> Wait. What is that? It looks like a robot. Looks like that one robot from the Sonic the Hedgehog TV show. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? Hey, Shoma. Would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Damn, I should have talked about the Adder Rooster. Oh, whatever. Huh? How do you know about that? I can see everything. I can see into your mind. Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? What the fuck? Actually, you know what it looks like? It looks like one of those funny robots from the coin game. You made that? You know, that, 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 it's that game where you like live in a world, you're, you're like the only human in a world full of robots. And it's like these weird, like kind of dumb AI robots that ro go around. And the whole point of the game is like living your life while also going to an arcade and getting tokens and shit. It's a really weird game. Still early access, I think. But all the robots look kind of like this. They have like clothes on. Yeah, I call it Robota. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. Yeah, look at him go. He is a very good spinning. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine tuning it is really hard. I feel like it's probably just easier to give him like, I don't know, another leg or wheel. 
It's a robot. Compliment. Compliment strongly. Compliment like crazy. Wow, wait. This is crazy. It's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind right now. How can you make such a complex robot like this? Are you an alien? Or from the future, maybe? Or some sort of god? <laughs> Are you some sort of god? And this form. Refined yet playful. Such an unconventional design. It's obvious your sense of style is immaculate. Oh, wonderful. So wonderful. I will never forget this day. <laughs> I, I will never forget this fucking day when I'm on my fire deathbed. I thank the creator that I was able to meet a genius that will go down in history. What's <laughs> <laughs> that response? <laughs> He's like, uh, somehow he didn't cringe to that. I'm proud of him. Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. Damn it, I should have said my half might quote. That definitely would have worked. What about the Adder Rabbit? Or Adder Rooster? Damn it. All right. Tell me about your, uh, your dad. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? His head, man. Oh, good. That's not just me. All right, finally. Well, because... Why does it matter? Suddenly very angry. Let's, uh, do one of the other ones, though. I put them on so I can concentrate better. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise canceling. What you making? One of the parts for Robota, the robot running around. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. I need to give it a gut. Add it for some flamethrowers and shit. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course not. Baka! Even though she's cute? That Ugo? She's not cute at <laughs> all. <laughs> Fucking Ugo! Fat as fuck! His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I could tell. <gasps> what? Bullshit! Oh, that fucking technique didn't work! Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. What the fuck? This, damn it! That didn't work th this time. That time, see, I had a, I had a uh, an option that was after I had already picked another option. And before that was like, oh yeah, usually that means that progresses the story. This time I picked everything else but that, and it still progressed the story. Fuck! Wish this shit was more consistent. I solved it. Hmm? The bat's 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab, the Horidori Institute of Genetics. Neat. And now I'm there. Guess I won't get to ask that other thing. Fuck. Whoa. I heard about it last night on the news. Whoa, look at that guy's head. Holy shit. First, I, I was looking at the astronaut guys. Now this guy and his ginormous head. A lot of weird shaped heads in this game. Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. He looks like a fucking evil genius, doesn't he? He'd definitely be the antagonist in like a fucking 90s cartoon show. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. Oh boy. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pasta filled with a dubious liquid. There's a lot of shit to look at in here. Look at this stuff. Ryuki, would you drink that fluid inside the test tube? Hell yeah. Absolutely not. Why not? You might develop superpowers. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? The Hulk. That would be awesome. I'd rather die than drink it. These weird guys. Rich is wearing the typical protective gear. Statue? Excuse me. What is that statue? Ah. That's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's actually, it's actually not as much stuff in here to look at as it look as it appears, because some of the stuff is literally mirrored on like, you know, around this room. Yep, that's uh, kind of it actually. Shikara, the director of the research institute. Um, about Jim. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. Why do you say that with an evil smile? About the QR video. Uh, it was mentioned on the news. 
But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. About this institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. I understand that at all. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call uh, PURGE. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using PURGE, even immortality is achievable. Meat! Uh, immortality? Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. That'd be interesting. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. I ain't never gonna die, bro! The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. <laughs> Jeez, that is, a, that is a face as well. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? What are you doing around 6 a.m. on the night? Legends estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Good for you. Your dream came true. Thank you. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Shikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Shikara's alibi. That's right. Okay. Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Shikara? You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. Nah. <laughs> that, that expression. Ugh. Uh, mobile games can be fun most of the time, though. They they take you to a page to try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising for those motherfuckers. Anyway, Thermo. Huh. He's running pretty hot. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. You can analyze the brainwaves of the sink subjects and temporarily look into their dream. Select Shikara with the cursor. Choose wink sink icon to view a simplified version of his dream. Interesting. Also, my Tamagotchi is talking to me. What ring do you like? Uh, lightweight, straw weight, heavyweight, bantam weight. 53.52 kilograms or lower E. The name is like a battle robot E. Ah, sleepy. Wink sink. Show me your mind. <laughs> cool anime. Uh. <sighs> uh, this guy. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. But you're still taking a look inside their dreams. Oh, there's this time remaining in the top right there. And dreams are made from memories. 
So there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. He's actually counting down, and every time I progress the message box, it, it goes down faster. You're saying... Chikara knows about Fax 490. He was lying to us earlier. Motherfucker. Whoa! Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? <gasps> oh, Tom Ninja, you're Somnium for real. Wing Sing is a simple version of sinking. From the air ball me, a strong magnetic wave is shot out to the sink subject. This temporarily numbs the subject's brain and puts the brain to a faux sleep state and induces a dream. By analyzing the faint brain waves emitted during this, we can see the parts of the, parts of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sink needs to be performed. Wing Sing can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of power required. I need to recharge before forming again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. I see. What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Very well. I'll go with you. What are you hiding from me, old man? Okay, February 11th, Monday, uh, 1845. Sleep. Hi, boss. Uh, is this a tango nose in it? Um, excuse me. The voice in the locker again. Could you go buy some soy sauce for me? I thought I just heard something. Ah, uh, you mean the cleaning lady. Oh, it's just the cleaning lady. Wait, what? She's still in there. Ryuki, I'll let you be in my chair once this case is solved. No, I'm okay. <laughs> no, please. Thank you. Pooter! Pooter's real name is Fudo Ananoma. I got Tama's report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which has a striking similarity. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. Boss, we just started. We're like on episode four, all right? We already saw the future that, that we haven't found the guy yet, so I... Probably not. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. Why are you here? Hmm? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. I live here. Yeah, but I've been wondering about something. In November of last year, you were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? Oh, hey! <laughs> hey guys, look, it's Pooter with a gun! <laughs> I like the way to elaborate that. That's right, I actually kind of forgot about that plot point. You leaked internal police information. Not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. <laughs> it's just that easy. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. I am truly grateful to you, boss. You fucking owe me, bitch! No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. Naked laid! I know about... Mm, a dozen. I'm counting on you. This is kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. Interesting. I actually had completely forgot about that plot point. Uh, about the malfunction of a business communication system. Uh, that's outside of my jurisdiction. So, I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure the person in charge is desperately trying to fix it as we speak. It should be fixed soon. After all the important plot details have uh, already been revealed. And, we'll, and no one else will see it but me. It's boss. Real name is Shizue Kuranushi. Where's Mr. Date? Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. <laughs> what? He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. Is that an actual thing? No, he's taking a load off, all right. He's busting the biggest nut. The nipple, oh my God, explain. The nipple game is a game in which a man asks a woman to guess where their nipple is while their shirt is on. Even if it's a guy asking a girl to do it, it's kind of problematic. Yeah, you think so? Any progress in the investigation? There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. 
looked at Chikara. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. Boss can just get away with anything, apparently. In any case, shall we get started? Ryuki, you know what to do. All right, go time. Sync with him. By the way, you guys also point out, so apparently with the, the way the sync system works here, the unlimited sync where you can go back in and like for as long as you want can only be done after you've gotten every possible, once you've gotten every important decision done. In other words, if there's a split path, right? Like for example, the last one we were in, I have to have picked the other path first. Ryuki, this isn't your first time syncing. And complete it in order to actually get to go back and then have as much time as I want. I see. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. So, I'm sure you know without me telling you, but... I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's all right. I know. Okay, then. Let's begin. Blur just feels like he has to say that every fucking time. Whee! All right, how weird and crazy this shit about to get. And will there be a choice? Whoa, whoa. A little lag there. Whoa. Back in the lab. Oh, the right half of a statue, and it's got a whip. What is this place? It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? I see a car and a boat. Hey, did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. It's like a, like a mannequin or something. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? That guy. You must have a lot of questions, like, what happened to your other half? Not really. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough, too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? Yes. Yeah, do it. But hey, isn't benching kinda hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? Damn it, Ryuki. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> we can only be in Somnium for six minutes. Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> This is getting out of hand. He said that to the beat of the music. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. Whoa, whoa. Holy shit. Triangle! On this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. Whoa, whoa. The very layout of this facility itself. Mimicking my brain will serve as inspiration for my masterpiece. What's going on here? I need to be careful. I can't get too close. Now, this. Bionic body's accidental biology. The bionic body creation pro- Bio what? Program, sorry. BBAB. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. <laughs> Whew, wouldn't want that getting out. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. What in the world? No, he ran off. Chikar in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sync subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sync E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Neat. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? If I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? I'm sorry, 
Instant Death Power Stance Man? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. Anyway, let's check the device first. Looks like the power is out. Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan, activate! Booty. And booby. Those towers got kind of like sad looking guys. Okay, I'm at the lock one. Number two. Rainbow Man is three. Beers four. Nefarious Institute, uncover the secret Shikara is hiding. There's no doubt Shikara is hiding something. Open the door to expose what he is hiding. All right. The lock on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Shikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. Anyway, that door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. Use the blank, join the blank, create a blank. Okay. I'm hitting A. Nothing's happening. What? Oh, there we go. Damn, seriously, this girl got a big ass booty. God damn. Damn, girl. I am zoomed in very hard on it. So wait, let me go see. Can I actually touch this guy? I sure can. This door is open. Is this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, it moves sideways. We're here. That's the stone statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. Use the machine in the center. Join the two stat stone statues and create a transcendental human superhuman. Activate. Off and on. Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. Why don't you feel around that area? What area? The dick! Whatever feels right, Tama. Oh, yeah! Tickle the gonads. Ah! Ah! That works. The robot arm control PC has been activated. Well, that was easy. Never gonna give you. They're all just like a Rick Roller for a second. I write the right front temporal lobe statue. It's on. You're amazing, Tama. It says not available. Stone statue activated. Wait. So is it on or off? Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? How did you know? Let's go back to the device. I find it funny how, like, she used to sort of switch between being... <laughs> being a dominatrix and a, and a fucking bottom. <laughs> being super shy and meek about stuff. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. Blank. Human, your powers. You can blank to blank if want you wanted to. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. NA. Not available. There's no additional information. Does this stone statue have no other use? I don't know. Huh. Hey, found an eyeball. Is this? Robot arm control PC? BBAB. BBABW -B doodly doodly. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Holy shit, this audio is uh, way louder than the audio has been up to this point. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Chikara did. What can we choose from? 
left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and A. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. Interesting. Was that why the other guy's cut in half? Did he cut him in half to, to make him into a superhuman or some shit? And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. Worth a shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. <laughs> what do you choose, Ryuki? Masai Warrior in a fisherman. Masai Warrior. Please select right brain function. Astronaut, archaeologist, astronaut. Left, Masai Warrior. Right, astronaut selected. Starting experiment. Become as one. What's going on? Experiment successful. Just like I expected. Combined, a Maasai warrior's leg strength and the atmosphere piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman leg strength. Cool. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. The power to jump real good. <laughs> that might be it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. <gasps> My Tamagotchi. What should I do if an old guy attacks me? Hit epigastrium. Cut throat. Kick chin. Hit temple. Hit the, the, the word. I don't know. Not for amateuristic. Can't breathe. Four minutes now. Right, let's go. Okay, ready. Woo! That was easy. What in the? Experiment worked. Oh, oh God! Fucking DNA, Chigara. Chigara Horatori has done it again. <laughs> oh, the epigenetic ecstasy. What are we even watching right now? Oh. By stimulating the DNA correlating to high leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. We can do anything in this simulation world. There are no limits. What a wonderful world. So every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? You want to join? Hell no. <laughs> Okay, progress. A stone statue without power. Activate it. Activate it. It's got a steering wheel, too. This stone statue is a racer. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Anyway, let's head back to the central room. Super reaction by the person trapped by blank. Six, no seventh sense. They who traverse blank experience it. Okay. It's over some fucking music. Oh, just take me straight back here. Yo, whoa. We're here. Looks like we can open it from this side now. Hey, no more jumping needed. They go to outer space by using rockets to breach the atmosphere of Earth. They are highly intelligent and athletic, which allows them to move in zero-gravity environments with ease. They are required to have high mental fortitude to live in outer space, much of which is still unknown to us. Further than us all, they've flown. 
Makes you want to wax poetic, I see. To the sky, human your powers. You can blank to blank to blank if you wanted. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Is that, uh, was that back to referring to the previous one? Oh yeah, that's two different locks here. They investigate ancient ruins in order to uncover what Earth looked like in the past. They not only require a scholar's knowledge, but also the decision-making ability to avoid traps placed in ancient ruins. Oh, there you go. Just like that one professor. Yeah, the guy with the whip that got chased by that big stone ball. India Jones. Oh, I thought it was metal. Was it? Super reaction by the person trapped by speed. They who traverse it experience it. Yeah, I gotcha. So the racer and the archaeologist. All right. Experiment successful. Give you the juice. Combined, a racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps to gain movie protagonist superhuman <laughs> driving skills. I wonder how many different options there are here. I mean, seemingly a decent number. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Nowadays, sports cars go up against nuclear submarines. Oh well, this is Shakara's preference. Now let's go back to the room with the car. Think we can get there from the passage we came from? Yeah, that should lead you there directly. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some funny Easter egg uh, combos in this. Unfortunately, I'm already kind of running low on time. All right, get in. I'll avoid any traps with elegance and grace. <laughs> I thought this is she's gonna drive it. W what? Whoa. Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa. Whoa. That's the trap. I could have done this on my own. Behind you! Huh? I understand this reference. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Fucking statue head! Oh, drift that shit! Hold it! Wait! No! I can't do this! I can't remember what they call this. This. Hey, Tama, the road. It's like this, like cyberpunk. <laughs> Aesthetic with the palm trees and the cars, like oh, it's like synth wave, right? I'm controlling it, guys. On what? Uh, uh. The gas. The gas. Okay. Damn, how's the thing rolling uphill? What the hell? Ah! Woo! Damn, yeah, we just going the fuck in. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, God. Chikara Horidori has done it again. Oh, the genetic ecstasy. Fuck it, music. The Corpus Callosum is here represented by a treacherous ancient ruin. A theory that links this complex and bizarre passage is now complete. But this should be theoretically impossible. No, there is no impossible in this world. <clears throat> oh, this is not good. Not good indeed. Hora, ew! Why don't you think of it as some kind of reward cutscene? The fact that I have to force myself to think that already makes it not a reward. <laughs> Let's turn it on. Got it. Twiddle his dick. All right, the gambler's statue. This stone statue is a gambler. I guess that means they have guts. So this gambler is known for winning bets when the chips are down. That must mean they can win the big ones without flinching. Now let's head back to the central room. Don't look for it, blank. You get can get a blank. Blank can be blank by any person. Okay? You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Working on it. Ah, oh, my fucking car. Damn it. Where's my next obstacle then? Hmm. 
go. What the? It's me, Chica. What the hell? This is no good. No good. No good at all. Yes, yes, yes. Let's test this. Chikara's right brain, reselection. What in the hell? Is he like rotating this place or something? Whoa. What? What's happening? The room flew away. The experiment worked. Oh, oh. Happy oh God, I'm already getting tired of this weird newt. Kara Horatori has done it again. <gasps> oh, the epigenetic ecstasy. This right brain reselection is a function that blows away my past. The past I don't want anyone to see. My right brain can be shuffled back into the deck. Goodbye, forbidden memory. What are we gonna do? Oh, it looks like the the yin to the yang. How about that? When we drove through the passageway, Chikara said, theoretically impossible and not good. More symbolism. So maybe we did something he wasn't expecting. If we use the device to combine two different brain functions, we might be able to find a way. If we can prevent Chikara from using his right brain reselection thing, we might be able to make it to the room. He said something about a memory he doesn't want to be seen. Huh. You monitor. Current ability is left. Oh, okay. Yeah, but how will we stop Chikara? There was something hidden in the room we were in earlier. If only we could pull it back somehow. We need a big idea here. Fisherman. Gambler. Take the risk of catching the other side, right? Experiment successful. Combined, a tuna fisherman's pulling skill and a gambler's ability to make the right choice to obtain superhuman luck. <laughs> yes, ultimate bullshit obtained. This is how I was made. Dude, how did you know? Luck, is this going to do anything? Well... Try it. Let's fish back the room that flew away. So I have a fishing rod. How's it going? I think I got something. That must be it. Reel it in. <laughs> Take that shit. Oh, Jeremy's happy about that too. The experiment worked. <laughs> Chikara Horatori has done it again. <gasps> oh, the genetic ecstasy. I can tell they're using the exact same sound bites for that every single time. Oh, good. The memory I want to leave behind has already been shuffled. Wow. <laughs> this memory is no good either. I thought I deleted it. Oh. No. If you succeed with the Eternal Youth Experiment, my memory will be discovered. Uh, goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> goodbye! Chikara's memory was replaced with something else. But it got replaced with another memory he didn't want seen. It might be worth looking into. Chikara said that if the Eternal Youth Experiment is successful, his memory will be discovered. So if we complete the research on that device... We might be able to defeat instant death power stance man over there and get into the room he's guarding. Okay. Oh, hey. That stone statue is a little different. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. You have a minute left. Oh god, I think I'm gonna run out of time. That stone statue has... Chikara's face hastily slapped on. Chikara said that using Purge, he can create an ageless and undying body. But if we use the stone statue... Turn it on. Oh no. What's the problem? Seeing this face... Are you sure about turning it on? We've invested too much already. There's no other way. I just realized turning it on and then they gotta rub the dick. I, I get it. I get it now, yes. 
fine, okay. All right, one more. Oh, you didn't want to touch the crotch because of Chikara's face, huh? My theory is almost complete. The creator of a man who blank is blank. Interesting. I think the, the way these lock things work is that they only get the check mark after you've actually filled it all the way out, but I don't think you necessarily have to. I think the reason why I'm so low on time is because I re walked into that dude earlier and it lost me a chunk of time. I was actually trying to restart again from the beginning, but I couldn't figure out a way to do it. Like I have, I have these restarts I only go to the checkpoints though, but not like the very beginning of it. Oh, I, I, oh, I probably have to go here. I probably have to go to the flow chart and literally... Yeah, probably like this. Oh, that's cool. It actually tells you uh, head and eyeballs and whether you got the target time or not. So this one's going to be tight. I think that's what's kind of screwing me here. It would be nice to create eternal youth and life. And something that will let us get rid of instant death power stance man over there. And a shaman debugger Shikara. Shikara. We'll make eternal youth here. Here we go. Ready? Error. It's an error. I guess an A isn't a job. I wonder what it's for. What's an effective way of training? Back press, bench press, up uh, deadlift. It's good for training deltoid E. Received a thousand eyeballs reward. I guess are you done? Become a delty. Thanks for talking to me so much. Yay. I probably stretch you guys have been added to the manual in the file. Uh, okay. Adult E. He will not grow any further. Oh, interesting. Organism adult the fool. Heart of bravery, love, and justice. Always thinking dirty thoughts and is dangerously close to a lawsuit. Love's poor. Oh, I turned to literally Dante E. I gotcha. Bazooka E. I see. I see. Getting all the different forms here. The Maasai Warrior and Chikara. Combined. A Maasai Warrior's battle skill and Chikara's genetic engineering knowledge to create an undying and unaging warrior. Funny that the machine is on a first name basis with Chikara. Now we can finally beat up instant death power stance, man. All right, let's go. You're out of time. Uh... Go, Tama. Let's go. Uh, uh... Oh, kick. Now. Hockey, we blood. We did it. Oh god, he's so happy. The experiment worked. All right, I'm skipping this. Should humans die? What a waste it is to perish. The research results are splendid, but now is not the time. Not now. If Chikara gets in our way again, no amount of time is enough time. Let's go. I'm running out of time. <laughs> 20 seconds. Yep, I'm fucked. Ah, uh, I'm about to redo this. All right, let's try again and not touch the dude at the start. All right, here we go. Much better. The stone statue is Jakar's memory that he doesn't want to be seen. Turn it on. A nine stone statue. Nine. Nine in Roman numerals. What is the significance of nine? Nine, nine, nine? <laughs> Maybe he has nine mistresses. Or maybe he's being sued by nine people. The stone statue. Maybe we use a brain function again. Should we go back to the central device? Let's do it. Okay, not applicable. And nine. Starting this again. What the, whoa. <gasps> what, why? Behold, what the hell? Successful. Nice a lot. laws. N A and nine. Nice. That was some shit that Iris brought up in the last name, wasn't it? That sounds familiar. Ryuki, this is. I know. That's four ninety.
All right, there we go. Uh, found the link between lies and bats, 490. Porn result, egoism. Ah, blah, blah, blah. February 11th, on to know, Ryuki chapter one. Nia's Japan branch, February 11th, Monday, uh, 2005. Welcome. I am the president of the Japanese Nia's at Laws branch, Tokiko Shigure. I apologize for visiting so late at night. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Mr. Ryuki, is it? Mamoru, my secretary, has already informed me. I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. This is the president's office on the top floor of the building containing the Japanese branch of Nizalaz, commonly known as Nize. When I stick with Shikara earlier, Tama and I saw something in his Somnium. Someone who looked like they were in Nize was making the Bats 490 video. Wait, so what is Nize again? And that's why we ended up here. We came to the president's office to talk to the top level of Nize. Hold on. Let's check my handy dandy glossary. I don't see it in here, actually. Where did we have I heard Nize a lot? I swear to God, that was some shit that Iris said in the previous game. Have we heard it in this game up till now? Or am I just being an idiot and forgetting something significant? Well, either way, guys, help me clarify that because I, I feel like I'm I'm not remembering something correctly. So it definitely sounds familiar. But this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Interesting. Okay. So we're getting some genome altering kind of stuff going on here. That's uh that's pretty pretty heady. I mean, you know, people are getting split in half and putting them back together again. So that definitely ties in a lot what happened to, Ju to Jin here. So, hmm, intriguing. I'm interested. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a ferret. And subscribe if you're not ready become a picky penguin. Aboard this cell P, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time. Stay classy!